welcome back to my channel by the time you guys see this it is officially going to be the first day of spring so when you guys are watching this we are officially in spring that is so exciting we made it i feel like it was a really long winter but we're here the days are getting longer there's more light it's getting warmer nature is blooming i hear birds chirping it's just one of my favorite times of the year it's like nature is coming out of its hibernation and it's so so beautiful it is still pretty cold though but i'm celebrating by wearing a cute little spring outfit indoors this oversized gray vest from essentials this is actually mo's has a perfect oversized fit and then these little black shorts from lululemon a little white ribbed cami top this is from skims and some scrunchy socks little first day of spring outfit sometimes it's nice to just wear something a little different like a little dress or shorts you know something that you would wear like in spring summer even if we're not quite there yet like with the temperature just to switch things up a little bit and sort of manifest that energy into your life if you're also like a very warm weather person like i am we've got to find like our little things feeling good and taking care of my mental health is something that is so important to me i feel like the quality of our life how we see the world how well we're able to manifest things and really create the life that we want it really does all start up in our mind really paying attention to the health of our thoughts and of our mindset and that story that we are telling ourselves every single day i definitely think in the modern world we're very like outspoken and verbal about our physical health like we go to the gym eating healthy taking good supplements like really caring for our physical body and our physical health but equally as important is the health of our mental state and of our emotional wellness i'm a huge fan of journaling for example that is one of the best therapies that i can do with myself i've talked about that in lots of my videos meditation going on walks that's sort of my meditation right now practicing mindfulness and conscious gratitude like consciously being grateful for little things throughout the day i also love working one-on-one -on -one with professionals who are genuinely passionate and trained and have studied emotional wellness and how to help people i think there's so much value in in personalized therapy and it doesn't only have to be if there's something that you're really struggling with of course that is an incredible reason to do therapy but also if you just need somebody who is positive and passionate and helpful in guiding you to your best life helping you to set and achieve goals whether that relates to your health and fitness or your career or your relationships or if there's something you feel is just holding you back maybe that you experienced in your childhood that you've brought into your adulthood and you feel like it's stopping you from something so much of the success and the happiness that we can achieve in life it's really us that is standing in our own way for most of the time and i think it's so valuable to invest in yourself and invest in your future to really help you get out of your own way and to realize your strengths and to ultimately live your best life if you guys are interested in working with a therapist as well i would highly recommend checking out better help they are kindly working with me and sponsoring a portion of today's video better help connects you with with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful and unbiased advice. First, you go to their site. You can visit betterhelp.com forward slash Jaffrey. I'll have the link down below. You answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours. And you can do it all from the comfort of your own home, which I love. So whether you wanna do it via phone call, video call, messaging, whatever is the most comfortable and convenient for you it's really the easiest way to start talking to a therapist and you'll be matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started really fast definitely give BetterHelp a try they can connect you with a therapist who can support you just visit betterhelp.com forward slash Jeffrey that will also save you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp I'll have the link down below for you in the description box
It's a car. Did you get a car? car? <gasps> wow, Nelia. Some stickers. How cute. This is how it's gonna look like. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at those little eyes. That's so fun. What, co what color is the car, Nadia? Pink. Yeah, it's pink. What about the steering wheel? What color is the steering wheel? Green. It's green. Yeah, good job. And what about this? Red. It's red, baby. Good job, Nadia. Yeah, Nadia. Which way should we go? Wow! Push. And push! And push! And push! <laughs> Good morning guys! So one of my favorite things to do when a new season comes along is a little cleaning and organizing, especially for spring. Spring to me is all about welcoming new energy and just feeling so vibrant and fresh in my body. And our home is definitely an extension of that. So it's been a few months since I've deep cleaned these doors here in our kitchen. I cook a lot at home, so these spaces definitely get used a lot, especially the spice drawer. So it's really nice to just deep clean everything from time to time, just go through what we have, clean everything off, minimize if I can, get rid of things that we're not using. This feels so great, especially to work in a kitchen where everything is streamlined and clean. You can find everything really easily and just making it a joy to be there. I love that. I also redid my supplement drawer to make everything just feel and look really organized and beautiful. I think when we're inspired by our spaces, we just feel so much more excited to use them. And I think that's really important, especially for places like our kitchen, where a lot of our good health really stems from. So Nelia is currently sleeping. We are gonna head out when she wakes up. I just packed my bag and I thought I would share with you guys a what's in my bag, mom edition. This is also my diaper bag and I've never actually done a what's in my diaper bag. I loved watching those videos when I was pregnant just to see like what are the essential things that you need with a baby. I'm definitely more on the minimal side. The less things I have to take with me, the better. So this is my bag. It's a Chanel shopper tote. I think that's the name, shopping bag. And I love this because it has a huge compartment that is really easy to get in and out of. So this is my everyday bag. It does not have a zipper though, as you can see. So when we're traveling, going on a flight this is the bag that i use i thought i would share this with you guys because i love this bag so much it's from nina bay it's their kinney i believe this is the bag i have taken on every single flight that i have done with nalia it has a great zipper at the top so nobody can reach their hand inside it's very secure and then it also has this flap on top and i'll just give you a quick overview of what it looks like from the inside it's got this laptop compartment here at the back and this is a true diaper bag so it has all these really great compartments on the inside i absolutely love this bag it is amazing so high quality beautifully designed so many great little pockets and compartments to keep you organized it also has a pocket here in the front with a magnetic closure and two pockets on the side one here one here and also a zipper compartment here on the back which is insulated so if you want to have like a warm bottle in there and then it has a sleeve here that you can pop onto a roller bag and of course it is a backpack so it's so convenient for having your hands free i absolutely love this bag would highly highly recommend i also have their emmy bag i showed that one in my what's in my hospital bag i love that one too because i love it so much i also have it in black and they're great because again zippers really great compartments on the inside just super convenient 
convenient, like so beautifully designed. Absolutely love it. But on days where we're just running around, we're heading out quick with Nalia, this is the bag that I use and the one that I packed today. So I wanna share with you guys what I keep in here. For the most part, things are organized in larger pouches, except for things that I know I need like really, really quick access to, like my vlogging camera. I film a lot, so I have that with me. My sunglasses, these are usually either on my head or on my face. <laughs> then some pacifiers in this little pacifier case. And Nalia's water bottle too. This is a really great one because it's pretty much like break proof and it just pops open like this, the straw. So it stays clean. She's dropped this, she's thrown this and it has not broken. It's amazing. The brand has rubbed off. So I will have it linked for you down below. And then everything else is in compartments this is one of my favorite things to do when packing any bag if you guys know me you know my channel you would have seen that in other videos but i love these little compartments because it makes everything so much easier to find so these are all like my sort of personal items in this bag and these clear pouches are even better because you can actually see what's in them and this one i've got my wallet i've got some wet wipes i've got regular tissues my phone charger and a lipstick and then i also have my keys in here as well and everything is just really nice and together for when i need it then i also have this clear pouch here this is all of nalia's like food things i've got a plate here for her her bib which is this beige one and some snacks as well she's got some cookies and a banana the things that i keep for her in my bag definitely depend on the age she is so right now as a toddler it's all about snacks and little forms of entertainment like a coloring book for example this is just a regular book not a coloring book but it's very lightweight and it's one of her favorite things right now it's the i spy book so every page is a letter i spy with my life something beginning with f and then we will find the thing that begins with f <laughs> she loves learning new words and she's all about her colors right now so yeah just something fun to stimulate her and then i bring some crayons for her too these are beeswax crayons they're really great they're non-toxic i'll have them linked also from amazon and then when you go to restaurants or we're sitting down somewhere she has something to do when she was a little bit younger though she is 19 months old right now we would bring things like this in the diaper bag so again i would put them in a clear kind of pouch like this and then i would just fill it with like random little teethers like little rattles and things like that that she would take out by herself and just like look at things and like bite on them and things like that and I would take like a good like 10, 12 pieces, all small things, things that would fit in a kind of bag like that. And that was so fun for her to just sit and do when we're sitting at a restaurant or for somewhere and she just wants something to like hold or do or discover. So that's definitely a huge, huge thing that I would say if you guys have kids or babies that are a little younger, bringing like little random things like this, so much entertainment for sure. And then also a sound machine. I don't bring this right now, but when she was younger and she would nap more during the day and it's nice because it's little, it's portable and really makes a huge difference. And then the main part of a diaper bag are of course the diapers. <laughs> I love this bag right here. This is also from Mina Bay, the same company that make the backpack. This is the most essential and I love this so much because if we are at airports or if we're at someone's house and I just quickly want to go and change her, I don't need to take my entire bag or Mo doesn't need to take the entire bag. Like he can just grab this out. So in here, I've got the essentials. I've got this changing pad also from Mina Bay. I love this. It is really nice. It's a neoporin, so you can easily wash this afterwards. I lay this down at any public restroom that we're at. If I'm changing her at someone's house, I lay it down on the couch or on the bed or on the floor. And it's really great because of course you can wash it. So it's always clean and it just folds up really small and you always have somewhere clean to change them. Then I've got her diaper cream. This is the Valletta Calendula one. I've been using this on her since she was a newborn and it's amazing. I've got some diapers and wipes. I really like the Pampers Aqua Harmony and also for uh, diapers i use the pampers harmony as well i think they're called pampers pure in the us and that is pretty much it i have my phone also here in this little compartment 
which is just built into the bag. And that is everything that I need for when I'm out and about with Nalia. I do also have a really, really convenient stroller caddy that I'm gonna show you guys. That is pretty much all I use when we go out like for a short walk. It has like little compartments. Okay, so we are gonna have burger bowls tonight. I'm prepping the salad portion first. Potatoes are already in the oven. Put the tomatoes, some cucumber. Making a quick little DIY burger sauce. This is just mayonnaise with a little ketchup and some pepper. Here are our burger bowls. How good does this look? The potatoes were just roasted in the oven with some olive oil and salt. The salad, as you guys saw earlier, the burger sauce, the patties. Yum.